morning, but welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see my organization on my desk area, my nail desk area, continue watching. Press that like button, subscribe, and press that bell button. Now my nail area is in my room. So I have a very small little space area, but I make it work. I'm probably gonna get new drawers because as you can see, it's just slanting. And I don't know if it's because of the carpet. I also have some boxes that I just got in the mail. I will be doing a Timu haul soon. So make sure you press that bell button so you know when I'll be doing that opening, the haul. Um, so this is where I have like my gel polishes, some monomer, my acrylics over here, the dental bib so we can put on the table whenever we're like um, drilling and so that way dust won't get all over the place because I don't have a uh, dust collector just yet. Let me turn this on. This is our air purifier. Then we have some more monomer, another little container. Uh, this is where I have my glitters, but I just recently bought some items to put my glitter in. This is where we have the nail files. Files. These are new. These are old. I don't know why I haven't just tossed them out because I only just do my own nails. But you know what? Since we're here, we're just going to toss these away and then put those new ones in there. I have like a little garbage bag because I just was literally organizing the nail area. Let me just take out all this dust i got a vacuum anyway so i'm just gonna so we're just gonna put the, these new ones because these are new they're not used so we're gonna put that in here let's put these are like my nail tips i don't have a container for them so i'm just gonna put them in here i was struggling to take this one off so you can see it looks crazy um but yeah these are like just backup other files used ones of mine we also have some new ones, so let's put the, the new ones. I guess we can put them in this bin, but, you know. Then we have more nail tips right here. These are more of, like, the tips, and then this is the full, the full nail tips. Then in here, we have some flakes, some glitters. We have extra little brushes, and then all the magnets. And then this is where we have like extra my extra like uv lights and stuck and then my dip powders that i have and then this is just other storage containers because i have so much stuff then we have like backups of like top gel base coat then we have some of the nail practicing some ziploc bags and this is where I have all my gel polishes. Now I have a lot of um, Gayo nail polishes, well gel polishes. I did do um, a swatches on the new ones that I did get. I just recently got those and I had some swatches on that. But yeah, so I only have a few drawers there and then the rest is like storage area. Now we're gonna go to the nail desk. This is the nail desk. Right now I have two lights because I was noticing that the light wasn't good enough with one light. So I had to put both my lights. This is a ring light and this is where I put my phone. Put my phone here. And I was like just zoom in where I want it. I've been trying to figure out the best, the best lighting, the best area. You know, I'm learning as i'm going i've watched uh, multiple youtube channels but i'm doing this all on my own you know and just trying to figure it out through watching videos now i just purchased this little bin from the dollar store this is where i have like all my essential items my nail tips beetle nail tips and then like you know my duster brush some more bibs this is where i have all my tips and my swatches of all the colors my alcohol acetone some stickers here the napkins um this is where i have my gooseneck but this is like the stackable drawers that i got also from the dollar store this is where i put my glitters and some more gold and silver flakes and then these are all the chromes that i have 
and then we have the nail brushes here we have some acrylic brushes some blending brushes and some like you know fine fine tooth or what i wouldn't even know what to call the column like a very thin thin brushes for like nail art then we have the uv light the bigger one now i've been having this uv light now for at least three months and haven't had no issues with it i can say that it's a really good uv light and then my nail palette right now i have to clean clean all the all the items in here i have to disinfect them because i've used them multiple times and i just need to clean them even though i only do my own nails i just need to clean them but i have them all in here so that way i can get that solution mixed up and clean we have this new nail little stand because I just recently did my boyfriend's mom. And if I ever do anybody else's um, nails, I want them to have like an armrest and be comfortable. And now for the drawer. I just finished organizing all of this and I love it so much. So we have some building gel right here. Some Q-tips. Then we have the UV gloves. This is where I have the sponges as well and some mixing palettes this is where I have my nail stand and then right next to it I have my like dried flowers um, rhinestones I don't have a lot of rhinestones because I'm not big on rhinestones on myself but I know if I'm doing nail like content I have to get a, a lot more but I will in the process and then I got the this is the rhinestone gel that I have and then this is the um, the molder that I have I did some hearts with because I don't have like a heart molder so I created some hearts with the builder gel and then the sponge then these are all new nail files right here some dusting brushes nail scrubbers then this is where I have all my bits I have a lot of bits I purchased a lot of bits and the nail forms. I still haven't tried even use the nail form, but you know, I have them because I did an acrylic course. Then I have the Joe bits here, some putty, and then my amazing Melody Susie um, nail drill, and then also more cuticle implements, some more files. I have so much stuff already. It is crazy how much stuff I've accumulated within a span of like a couple like probably two months two three months i've accumulated so much stuff i am thankful that i do have a great job where i'm able to you know have the expense to do my hobby and not stress out about money you know i am blessed and thankful but yeah guys i am so happy my little water um happy that i'm able to do this this is uh where i have all my no lint um cotton swabs so that way like when i clean my nails from dust but the alcohol these are from my cart now i have uh, products from everything i am not sponsored by anybody i would love to be sponsored by somebody in the near future you know so if you have any business inquiries please email me in the description below it is in there thank you very much <laughs> But I am just a, a beginner nail art content. Hold on. Now you can see me. I am just beginning with my nail content. So I appreciate you who are even watching my videos. I love you guys so much and truly, truly appreciate you. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate if you subscribe and press that bell button. I'll be dropping a lot of nail content soon now again i am not just a nail content i do a lot of other content like vlogs and stuff i post shorts my name is azure santos and that is my brand but i do have like a small little other brand nails brows and more um on instagram so if you want to follow my little instagram i do brows i do nails as you already know i do nails here at home you know i'm just i'm just figuring it all out i used to do youtube like two years ago i kind of stopped because life just happened and i just didn't have that love or feel the motivation to you know record and i just i i just was 
so engulfed with life that I just didn't have time to post videos and edit videos and now I have the motivation to do it and I now that I do I just try to get video out there for you guys and I love the little bit of feedback that I do get because I get a little bit of feedback here and there and I appreciate every one of you who comment on my posts who like my post I truly truly appreciate you all I appreciate you all now and thank you guys so much so much if you have any ideas for me any concepts that you want to see me do anything that you really enjoy watching please let me know in the comments below i will take everything into consideration and possibly do a video on whatever concept you would like to see me doing i am really good with gel legs um i kind of steered away from dip powder just because they don't last as long and it's just I don't know. I, I'm a huge fan of Gel X right now. I took an acrylic course, but again, I do do this in my room. So, the smell of a monomer can be really strong. I have an air purifier just to, if I do acrylic to at least clear the air, but I don't know. I just haven't had the urge to practice some more. Oh my God, my lipstick practice some more which I actually need to practice because if I want to be better at anything you have to practice 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 and that's what I'm trying to do thank you guys so much for those who are still here um, I appreciate you so much and I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this video I can't wait to continue the update of my nail area and to see it grow throughout the next year again i've been doing this for only a couple months so for only doing this for a couple months i've i have a lot of things i have a lot of things and again i am so thankful to even be able to have this space to do this and the freedom to create all this art thank you guys so much and i also want to show you that I am licensed. I know I've mentioned it before, but I am a licensed cosmetologist. I am not a licensed nail tech, but I am a licensed cosmetology. Just a fun fact. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. I need to do these nails. <laughs>